Well, how's she going today, guys? The sun is way over there at the 3 o'clock p.m. hour. What's going on? And metal cladding and one by fours. This goddamn thing is what's going on. So I ran a couple one by fours across, went and got them. And so back wall is going to be a little shaky. I'm not going to deny. So maybe I'll run another one up and down and screw the two of them together just to make it a little more rigid. It's, uh, so yeah, it's, once the tin is all screwed in, that'll make it more rigid also, but anyways, I got one piece of tin screwed in, so the very bottom it's screwed to the wood. At this point, it'll be screwed to the wood, and everywhere else, I got self-drillers. Uh, what the hell is a self-driller, you might ask? Well... That's the self driller right there. You see that little groove in the end of the screw? That kind of drills the metal, makes pre drills the hole just like a drill bit. And here's the difference between the two. You see that? They're a little heavier screw. This is a wood screw over here. That one's a wood screw and those ones are steel screws, self-drillers. You just push hard and let her rip. So I got the first sheet on the back wall. And when we're done, my plan is just go with a sawzall or something and trim this off right against this edge of this steel of the framework. I'll trim it off basically to there. And then we'll start putting our roof and our side walls on. That's the plan. But every fantastic plan is subject to change, right? But this is how we're doing it at this point. So I'm not going to be able to hold the phone and video as I'm mounting tin because for right now I'm by myself. Uh, we just ran to wood country and picked up. This is damaged or disregarded metal cladding. So... Either it's off color, or in this one's case, it has a little bit of rust on it. I don't really give a shit. Um, so yeah, we got the whole stack here. They're 10 foot long. A little bit longer would have been better, but we'll make do with what we got. So, because who knows, the wind might grab this thing and send it like a kite flying through the air some goddamn place and it'll just get wrecked anyways so this way we can make do with what we got and make it work as best we can Alrighty, i'll bring you back a little bit later see how we make out Alrighty, well there it is kind of got a little goofy on this side but my blade was going all wonky on me but this will do popped a screw out of there so I have to get one back in and I think I'm going to add a couple more in now that's what she looks like from the inside there so not so bad. It should work as a friggin' shelter of some sort. Now for a rooftop. Talk to you later. Alrighty guys. Well this thing is proven to be a pain in the royal ass. Our metal is exactly 10 feet. And this goddamn building, actually our metal is not 10 feet. The top two sheets were 10 feet, and that's what we measured, and we didn't look lower down. The sheets lower down were 10 foot 11. They're one inch short. And the building, 
is 10 feet to center point of pipe. From center point to center point, which really fucking sucks. So we took this pipe, these cross members, all five of them out, cut them by three inches. Now our metal will work. Anyway, I gotta get going. Somebody needs my help. Talk to you later. Okay guys, how you doing today? It is Tuesday afternoon. Uh, November, I don't know, 27, 28, something like that. Turn that down. Cows are all fed up for today and tomorrow. Banking appointments are done. Notice the shredder is not hooked up to Big Blue. He's unhooked and parked. That's because tomorrow is going to be a big day for Big Blue. Lots of front end loader action tomorrow. And we're going to try getting something done with this thing. So I think I said in the previous clip, we ended up cutting all these pipes down. So now, it's the tin. If you look, it's just barely sticking past. See that? I'm gonna bring it back past on the back side just a little bit more because I've got about an inch, inch and a half play in the front right there. So we're gonna pull for the roof line. We're gonna pull it back just a little bit. What I think I might actually do before I start screwing anything down, take a measurement from there, from the rib to the front and find out where we're at because I think I screwed up in my measuring yesterday when I cut the pipe. My personal thought is I screwed up anyways. Uh, so, yeah, right about there should be good. To here. Oh, look at that. Nine foot ten. To the outside edge. So, that works. That works. And this tape measure is a piece of crap. It doesn't want to retract worth a damn. But anyways. So I'm going to get busy with getting some tin mounted here. And we'll bring you guys back a little bit later. I don't know if that's all the way in or not. We'll give this a tap with a hammer. See if we could get it in good and tight all the way. And go from there. I'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty guys, well I managed to get two sheets up, it's taking a while, because I ain't doing no measuring, I'm doing a lot of guessing. I really should be measuring, but anyways, we'll start that here shortly. But, uh, I started from the top, and at the very top sheet, right in the center rib of the top sheet, I put it over top of this center pipe of the frame, and I'm working down from there so that's kind of what she's gonna look like this way at the very top there's no gap I'm not quite hundred and ten percent bang on but I'm even all the way down on that center rib and so and she's just gonna curl over the edge here nicely and screw it into the frame here like uh, so it should work out nicely anyways my cousin came out yesterday. I didn't say anything earlier, and congratulations to him. He didn't want pictures or nothing, but he got himself. It's all cleaned. It's all uh, boned out last night here in the shop. So on and so forth. A nice little 3x3. Three three. And CP's been in the hunt shack. And she just, I just heard the gunshot. So you don't get much done when you're running back and forth to the friggin' bush. 
uh, helping everybody with their hunting. And so I got to get little blue fired up. I could always go with big blue because he's been running today. But regardless, I got to go out there and grab a deer because she walked out there and I, ain't, I don't expect her to drag her deer all the way home by hand. So anyway, I'll move me truck and uh, we'll head back out to the bush and see what the hell CP got for a deer this year. I'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty guys, there she goes. She got her deer. I did. Another one for this year. Well, I shouldn't say another one, but another one gone from our place for this year. So, you happy with them? Yep. Is that the one you were looking for? No. No? But you figured he came in, so you're going to go? Yep. Now we got to drag him out of the bush and get him way over there. If you can kind of sort of make out Big Blue through these trees. Yeah. Alrighty. CP and Mocha dogs. And now me. Well, you shot him. You got to drag his fat ass out of here. Let's go get the sleigh. Let's go get the sleigh. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to let you go. We got our work cut out for us again here tonight. So talk to you all later.